God wants to bless this area. Mungu anataka bariki eneo hili. Amen. Amen. Now, yesterday we have the evangelist evangelistic meeting. Jana tulipokuwa na mkutano wa hadhara pale nje. Amen. And I noticed something. Aligundua kitu. And today I want to talk about how to build up personal contact with people. Leo anataka afundishe jinsi gani ya kujenga mahusiano na watu. How to relate to people? Jinsi ya kuwa na mahusiano mazuri na watu. The most basic steps. Hatua muhimu katika kujenga mahusiano imara. Amen. Amen. Now yesterday I noticed uh, and some people came. Jana aligundua kwamba kuna watu waliokuja. I was told that they all belong to some churches. Aliambiwa kwamba wengi wao walikuwa wanaamini katika mazembe mbalimbali. I was told that they all are Christians. Akaamini kwamba watu wote walikuwa ni wakristo. But when I look at them, lakini alipoangalia mkao wao, I cannot believe that they are all Christians. Hakuweza kuamini walivyokuwa wamekaa kama wote ni wakristo. So I asked Washington to go with me. Kwa hiyo akaanza kuongea na mmoja mmoja to ask the people. Kuweza kuwauliza do you already believe in Jesus? Do you already go to church? And we found that some of them are Christians yet. Yeah. And they're not going to church yet. Yeah. But there was no one to Lakini, talk to them. Mtu hata moja wako na. No one to care about them. Hakuna alionyesha hali ya kuwajali. And we just did something very simple. Watu tulifanya mambo tumepesi mepesi. We asked them do you want Jesus to be your savior? Do you want to believe in Jesus? And they said yes. And then I said, do you want to come over to the church? And someone will talk to you. And they said yes. So I took them here. Now, let me ask you, is it something hard to do? Je, ni kitu kigumu sana kuja kuongea huko na watu? Is it hard to ask them do you believe in Jesus? Mnaulizwa je, ni vigumu sana nyinyi kwenda kwa watu walio tutembelea kuuliza kwamba mnaamini katika huyu Yesu? Do you want Jesus to bless you? Mnataka Yesu awabariki? Ni vigumu kuambia hilo watu. Is it hard to do that? Eti ni vigumu sana kuambia watu hivyo. Ndio vigumu. Kama sio vigumu mnasema no, kama ni vigumu mnasema yes. What did they say? I've said no. No. So it's, it's not, not hard, different. right? Yes. But let me tell you, when you do that, Jesus is very happy yes, with you. And, Amen. and Jesus will reward you. Are you willing? Are you willing to do that? Yes. Okay, let's look at some Bible verses here. Matthew 10:42. Matthew sura ya 10 msali wa 42. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose the reward. Matthew 10. 10:42. Matthew sura ya 10 msali wa 42. Tasoma kwa neema Mungu. Okay. Na mtu awaye yeyote atakaye mnyweisha mmoja wapo na wawadogo hawa ngaa kikombe cha maji ya baridi kwa kuwa ni mwanafunzi. Amini na wambia haita mpotea kamwe tawabu yake. Mungu wabariki ya ndiki. Now Jesus makes it very simple. Yesu anonyesha hapa kiule vizu vye pesi sana. And easy for us. Kama ni vye pesi sisi kwetu. To start to serve God. Weza kuanza kumtumikia mungu. Some people think it's very difficult. Watu wengu anafikira ni vigumu sana kumtumikia ui mungu. Now there is a lot to learn to serve God. Kuna mambu mengi sana kujifunza ili kweza kumtumikia mungu. But to start out to serve God is not easy. Lakini kwa. It's not difficult. Lakini kuanza kumtumikia mungu siyo vigumu. Here it says that if you give someone that he's my disciple a cup of cold water. Anasema kama utampa mwanafunzi wangu maji ya baridi. To give a cup of cold water is it difficult? Eti kumpa mtu maji ya kumpa mwanafunzi maji ya baridi ni kitu kigumu. Not difficult. And then you will not lose your reward. Na ili usipoteze ba ba zawadi yako. 
Jesus wants to make it easy for people. Yes, wanataka ifanyi wepesi kwa kwa watu. Because if he says you have to bring a person to Jesus, sababu anasema kwamba ikiwa unataji kuleta watu kwa watu. Some people I say it's difficult. Wengine wanasema ni vigumu kuleta watu kwa Yesu. But he says you give a cup of cold water. Wengine anasema tu wape maji ba ya kikombe ya baridi. And you will not lose your reward. Wala hutapoteza baraka zako. Is that easy? Yeye ni jambo jepesi. Yes. 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 It's very easy. Yes. So now, so you you know that it's easy. Najuu meona kwamba ni vipesi. Then go ahead and do it. Sasa nende ni fanya ni hivyo. Amen. Now it's not just giving a cup of cold water. Sio tu kwa pamoja tu ya baridi. Sometimes what people need is not a cup of cold water. Wakati mwingi ne watu hawa itaji mamaji ya baridi. Like yesterday in a meeting, kamajana katika mkutano wetu pale. They need you to go up to them and talk to them. Walitajika watu waende kwa na kuongea kwa wale watu. And you can say something like this and follow the pastor. Na unaweza kusema maneno haya. Naomba ufate maneno nitakayosema na urudi. Haleluya. Well, and you can say this. Welcome here. Unaweza kusema karibuni hapa. Karibuni hapa. I'm so happy to see you here. Nafuraha sana kukuona hapa. Nafuraha sana kukuona hapa. When you hear the message, do you like Jesus to bless you? Do you already know Jesus? Do you already have a good relationship with God? Do you do you want to accept Jesus as your savior? Unataka umkubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yako? Unataka umkubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yako? Do you want to follow God? Unataka umfuate Mungu? Unataka umfuate Mungu? Do you want to know more about God? Unatamani ujue zaidi na zaidi kumhusu Mungu? Unatamani ujue zaidi na zaidi kumhusu Mungu? Would you like to come to this the church building? Je, ungetamani uje katika jengo la kanisa pale? And someone will help you. Now these questions, you know, you don't have to use all of them. I'm just saying. Ayo maswali anajaribu kukuerekeza ni jinsi gani unaweza kuongea na mtu na kumshawishi ili aje kanisa. Amen. Amen. Kama mnesikia punga mkono wako. Amen. I'm just saying these are some of the questions. Anasema ayo ni baadhi tu ya maswali ambo tatumia siyo lazimo tumia yote. Amen. Amen. The point is, are you willing to do it? Anacho sema hapa je uko tayari kufanya hivyo? Yes. Are you willing? Yes. Great. Kama ni Yesu unanyoesha mkono. <laughs> so, today are you willing to do it? Kwa leo tukiwa pale nje mko tayari kufanya? Yes. So, what what you can do is when you see the people, kwa tutakachofanya leo tutakapoona watu wao ulioko mahali hapa asubuhi leo unatusikia. Now, many of these people were standing there like a penguins. Watu wengi walikuwa wamesimama kule tu kama ambao wajitambui tambui. Now, I sometimes use that to describe people who don't know what to do. Yaani mwelekeo wa watu ambao wala hata hujua mizubazuba tu. They were like a penguin sitting there. Yaani kuna mnyama anaita penguin jo jina lake anakaaga hivyo. And no one care about them. Na inonekana hakuna mtu atali anaonyesha kuwajali. You might be afraid to go up to them. Wengine wenu tunaweza kuwa na uoga kuwaendea. You say they don't know me. Ukasema mimi hawanitambui. What if they reject me? Je, wakikataa maneno yangu itakuwaaje? But let me ask you. Ngoja niwaambie. What is more important? Kitu cha msingi mahali hapa. That they can go to heaven. Kwamba wanaweza kwenda mbinguni or your face. Your face, you know, that means you know how you look. To the person that you might be rejected. Unaweza kukataliwa. What is more important? Kwamba kwenda mingu ni na kukataliwa ni kipiche pes. Their eternal life. Je, uzima wa milele? Or my face? Au sura yako? How do you say that too? In Chinese, you know, we say you know the face or or our feelings. Kwamba je, unaweza kwenda mingu ni kwa sababu na kasura kako kazuri? What is more important? Kuchama singi ni kipi? Je, sura yako ama? Uofie sura yako au uwe na utayari kwenda mbinguni. So what is more important? Going to heaven. Right. So now it can start with just you talk with them. Ko inaanza inaweza kuanza hivi leo kwa hiyo kuanza kuongea na watu mahali pale. Amen. And then when you talk to them you care about them. Ukishaongea na mtu lazima uonyeshe hali ya kumjali kwa kumkaribisha. And you can talk more too. Unaweza pia ukamuoji mkaongea zaidi na zaidi. Like where did you come from? Kwa mfano umetoka wapi? 
And what do you like? Now say it. Aya, ndorudieni maneno hazi. Tunawafundisheni sawa sawa? Eh, na tutataka tuone leo mnatekeleza. Ambaye atatekeleza tutakujua baadaye. Yes. Yes. I to say. Yes, I to say after you. Okay. Aya, mnarudia maneno nitakayosema. Where did you come from? Umetoka wapi? Umetoka wapi? What do you like about Jesus? Ni nini unachokipenda kumhusu huyu Yesu? Ni nini unachokipenda kumhusu huyu Yesu? What kind of blessing do you need from Jesus? Ni baraka gani unazozitaka kutoka kwa huyu Yesu? Ni baraka gani unazozitaka kutoka kwa huyu Yesu? Do you need Jesus to heal you? Unataka Yesu akuponye? Unataka Yesu akuponye? Do you like Jesus to give you joy? Ungependa Yesu akupe furaha? Ungependa Yesu akupe furaha? Would you like me to pray for you? Ye ungependa mi una unaweza kuhitaji mimi nikuombe? Unaweza kuhitaji mimi nikuombe? And there are a lot of other things you can talk about. Pia kuna mambo mengi ambayo unaweza kuzungumza ili mradi kuwe na mawasiliano. Amen. The main the main thing is let them know that you care about them. Kitu cha msingi mahali hapa katika kujenga mahusiano mtu ajue kwamba unamjali. And then you remember the face. Lazima ukumbuke sura. So today when they come again, you remember they came yesterday. And then you can say this after me. Na utasema maneno haya baada yangu nitakutarudia nyuma yangu. I'm so happy to see you again. Ndio muona jana anambia nafurahi sana kukuona leo. Nafurahi sana kukuona leo. I remember you from yesterday. Na kuku nakumbuka ulikuwa mahali hapa jana. Nakumbuka ulikuwa mahali hapa jana. I remember that you want you said you want Jesus blessings. Nakumbuka ulisema jana unataka Yesu akubariki. Nakumbuka ulisema jana unataka Yesu akubariki. And then you can say something like this. Pia unaweza kusema maneno kama haya. Do you want to learn to pray? Je, unataka ujifunze kuomba? Can I pray with you? Ninaweza kuomba pamoja nawe? Ninaweza kuomba pamoja nawe? And then you say the prayer after me. Baadaye unamuongoza katika sala. Hallelujah. No, no, and, and say and then you you tell the Baadaye sasa unamuongoza arudie nyuma ya maombi utakao mwelekeza. Amen. Say say. I've already told you. Okay. So, now I'm going to say the prayer that you can say with them. Mm -hmm. So anyone can pray with them. Okay, now, let's stand up. Tusimami. And say this. Tuone jinsi gani tunaweza sasa mtu umeshaongea naye akakubaliana jinsi unavyoweza kumuongoza mkaomba naye pamoja. So I will say you say and then they will say after. Mtarudia nyuma yangu. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus. Eh Bwana Yesu. Eh Bwana Yesu. Let me say again. Ngoja aseme tena. This is a prayer you will say with the visitors. Haya ni maombi utakayozungumza na wageni watakao tutembelea leo. Tumeelewana? Okay? So this how you can pray. Dear Lord Jesus. Eh Bwana Yesu. Eh Bwana Yesu. Thank you for your love. Asante kwa upendo wako. Asante kwa upendo wako. You love us very much. Unatupenda sana. Unatupenda sana. Please forgive our sins. Tusamee dhambi zetu. Tusamee dhambi zetu. We have sinned against people. Tumeenda tumekosea watu wengine. Tumekosea watu wengine. We have been angry with people. We have hurt people's feelings. We have told lies. We have not worshipped God with all my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross. Please forgive my sins. Please wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Please come into my heart to be my savior. Jesus is my savior. Yesu we ni mokozi wangu. Yesu we ni mokozi wangu. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Asante Baba wetu ambinguni. I love Jesus. 
Napenda Yesu. Napenda Yesu. I love God. Napenda Mungu. Napenda Mungu. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Sema amen. Amen. Now I'm going to say a short prayer. Pia naenda kuzikuelekeza maombi mafupi sana. So you for sure remember. Ili uweze kukumbuka. Okay? Now say this after. Funga kunja mikono zako hivi. Dear dear Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu wewe Baba ye, Bwana Yesu. Yes. Please forgive my sins. Tafadhali tusamee dhambi zetu. Tafadhali tusamee dhambi zetu. Please come into my heart to be my savior. Njoo ndani ya moyo wangu uwe mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Njoo ndani ya moyo wangu uwe mwokozi wangu. Please give me eternal life. Nipe uzima wa milele. Nipe uzima wa milele. Please give me health. Nipe afya. Nipe afya. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Thank you Heavenly Father. Asante baba yetu wa mbinguni. Asante baba yetu wa mbinguni. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Sema amen. Amen. Okay, please be seated. Ah, mnaweza mkakaa. Is this difficult? Eti, hayo maombi ni magumu sana? No. No. So will you be willing to you know, you can follow the pastors yes. and then you can ask the people do you know Jesus do you want Jesus to bless you especially you see those people who are not you know usually Christians are dressed nicely that, that's where they come. Haswa kwa wale, sikilizeni, siri ya kutambua mkristo huwa na vaa vizuri, sawa sawa? Yes. Kwa ukiona mtu ambaye siyo mkristo, na ni ukweli angalieni, unakuta mevasha galabagala. Because some of the Christians have dressed up for the choir. Kwa sababu wa kriso wengi wanakuwa kwa mevaa vizuri kwa jia kuimba pale. And then you see some of these people who, you know, who are dressed very casually. Watu wengine unakuta mevaa tu yaani oyahe yaani chagala bagala. And you don't know them. Na hata uwajui. You can talk to them. Enda wonge now. Now what if they are a Christian? Vipi kama wakia ni wa Christo? That's okay. Pia ina shida kama na watakwa mejisa. You can say God bless you. Una wambia mungu wa kubariki. God loves you. Wana mungu wa nakupenda. And I care about you too. Pia mina mina na ya nakujari na otu. And would you like me to pray for you? Pia ungeri penda mintu ni kuombe. You can pray for Christians too. Unaweza kuombe pia na wa kristo. Now especially. Haswa. The younger ones. Wale wadogo. Wadogo. Even if they go to church. Hata kama wanaenda kanisani. They might not know Jesus very well. The relationship with God might not be very strong. So when you see them, you can talk to them and care about them. Okay, do you think you can do that? So it's, it's very important today that you all Try to talk to someone. Koni muhimu leo, jioni itakapofika, tuwaone kila mmoja akiwa busy, anatafuta na kuongea na watu. Amen? Amen. 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 Now when Jesus said, give a cup of cold water to yes, the little ones. Yes, when he said, give a cup of cold water to the little ones. He doesn't mean you just give a cup of cold water. And then stop there. And then stop and there. And then stop there. And then stop there. And then stop there. And then stop there. He just mean he just meant start with the little things. Alicho manisha kwamba tuanze na vitu vidogo vivu kondani ya wezo. Alleluia. If you can get rewards by giving a cup of cold water. Kama unawe unaweza kuwa na wezo kupata zawadi kwa kutoa tu maji ya 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 ziwani ya bula ya. You can do more. Unaweza kufanya zaidi kwa kuongea nao. Because I don't speak your language. Sababu yeye hajui kikiswahili luga luga taifa. If I speak your language. Kama angekuwa na wezo kuongea kikiswahili. I would go to every one of them and talk to them. I will not stop. Because I have the heart for them. 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 So yesterday I asked Washington to go to the meeting. I asked them if they know Jesus. I asked them if they know Jesus. If they go to church. And I found that a number of them do not go to church. I found that a number of them do not go to church. 
Robo tu ndio wanaenda kanisani. And today there will be more people like that. Leo wanakuja zaidi hao wajana. If you bring one of the little ones, yani ukileta hata hata mtu mmoja kwa huyu Yesu, Jesus will reward you. Yesu atakupa zawadi. Haleluya. Now what would do Jesus do when he rewards you? Nini Yesu atafanya atakapokupa zawadi? First he can send more rain. Kitu cha kwanza ili eneo mvua si mvua yenyewe chagi mvua itanyesha na magutu. Do you like rain? Mnatamani mvua inyeshe? Amen. Kama leo umeona? When you have rain you have more crops. Sababu tunapokuwa na mvua tutakuwa na mazao. You have more money. Na pia tutakuwa na fedha zaidi. So when you love God more, kwa unapompenda Mungu zaidi na zaidi, you will not lose your reward. Na utapoteza zawadi yako. Haleluya. Amen. And the reward could include rain. Na zawadi inaweza kuongeza mvua. Now there are times When Christians pray together. Kuna wakati fulani wa Kristo tunapoomba pamoja. Lord we love you. Mungu Bwana tunakupenda. We need you. Tunakuhitaji. Please send the rain. Leta mvua Bwana. And then God send the rain. Mungu naye akashusha mvua. You know it can happen. Inawezekana. I have seen miracles all the time. Anaona miujiza wakati wake watu hautumishi. Now sometimes we had a meeting. Wakati fulani walikuwa na mkutano. And it was raining heavily. Mvua ilikuwa ina 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 inamwagika. And I prayed to God. Akamwomba Mungu. God stop the rain please. Mungu hii mvua izuie tuendelee na mkutano. And it was amazing. Itu, ilikuwa kitu cha ajabu. In a short time the rain stopped. Kwa muda tu mchache mvua ile ilikaacha kunya. You know one time I was traveling to Africa too. Wakati mmoja alikuwa pia anasafiri kuja huko Afrika. And I was supposed to transfer to another plane. Alihitajika pia hame kuingia katika ndege nyingine. And I was resting. Yeye jamaa kapitwa na usingizi. And my I didn't set the watch to the time. Hakuweka alarm kwenye simu yake. And I missed the the plane. Jamaa kapiga usingizi ndege ikamwacha. And I, when I went to the counter, alipoamuka sasa anaenda pale kwa mapokezi, I asked the person You know, aji ya kuwauliza ndege yake iko wapi? Where is the plane now? Eh, kwamba ndege ni opasa kupanda iko wapi? She said it has left already. Akasema ndege ishatembea. It's too late. Umecherewa ndege imeshonda. You have to go to rebook your ticket. Lazima uende tena ukate ticket nyingine. And I said, wow, that's a lot of trouble. Akasema matatizo yanatawezaje sasa tena? And it's difficult. Pia ni vigumu sababu yuko katikati ya safari. So I want to the, went to the desk. Alienda pale mapokezi. And asked the person. Akamuuliza yeye aliyekuwa mapokezi pale. What can I do? Sasa nimekwama itakuwaje? She said it's very difficult. Akasema yani ni vigumu sana. Because she booked the ticket in Hong Kong. Kwa sababu ulikuwa umekata tiketi ya kutoka Hong Kong. So you have to call Hong Kong. Lazima urudi tena Hong Kong huko. And I call Hong Kong. Alipopiga simu kule Hong Kong. It was not easy. Haingewezekana ndege imetembea. And then I pray to God. Akaamua sasa kumuita huyu ajue kwa Mungu. God, you can do that impossible. Kamba Mungu unaweza kufanya yasiyowezekana. And I said, Lord, please open the way. Akasema Mungu tafadhali fungua njia. And I went up to the counter again. Akaenda tena pale mapokezini. The third time when I went there. Mara ya kwanza alipoenda. I said, please make a phone call. Alisema tafadhali piga simu. And then she promised to made a phone call. Akasema ni kweli atapiga simu. And when she made a phone call. Alipopiga ile simu. Suddenly her eyes were wide open. Gafla macho yake akakodoa macho. And then she said, "Why didn't you tell me?" Akasema, "Kwa nini ukuniambia?" And then she told me, "Akamwambia, the plane could not take off." Kwamba ndege ile isingeweza kungoka. It has come back. Imerudi kwa ajili yake. So you can get on the plane again. Unaweza kuingia katika ndege. Now, this is the only time that when I flew to the mission field. Huo ndio wakati pekee yake alipo anaenda katika alipo katika safari za utumishi. That the plane could not take off. Kwamba ndege aliizuia isipae. Amen. When I did not get on the plane. Kwa sababu yeye hakuwa katika ile ndege. The plane could not take ndege off. Ndege haiwezi kuondoka bila yeye. Sema amen. amen. Because of God. Kwa sababu ya Mungu. Haleluya. Amen. God is almighty. Kwamba Mungu ni wa uweza. God can do anything. Mungu anaweza kufanya jambo lolote. And then if today you say Lord please help me. Hata leo ukisema Mungu naomba unisaidie. To bring someone to Jesus. Ili umlete mtu kwa Kristo. I need your help. Nahitaji msaada wako. Please help me. Tafadhali nisaidie. Give me courage. Nishe ujasiri. God is happy with that prayer. Mungu anafurahia na maombi hayo. When you ask God for help. Ukimuomba Mungu msaada. He's very happy. Yaani Mungu anafurahi hivyo. Amen. When when one sinner repents, 
when one sinner repents, God is very happy. Yes. And if one Christian asks for help, when one Christian is willing to follow God's will, God is very happy. In Chinese, we have this saying that when, that when a person is so happy, when, he's, when he laughs or smiles, you can see the teeth, but you cannot see the eyes. It's like this, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so we say that you can see the teeth, but not the eyes. And God is like that too. When you say, Lord, I want to follow your will, God is so happy. He can see the teeth, but not the eyes. That you can see God's teeth but not his eyes. Hallelujah. Now Luke 926. Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of them. When he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the Holy Angels, whoever is ashamed, Whoever is ashamed of Jesus and his Now how come some people are not willing to go up to talk to the strangers? Because of fear and also because of... Now you don't have to look at the passage. Now. Look at me now. Look at me now. You know, it's very often because of shame. If I talk to the person and the person rejects me, and I feel shame, but actually, it's a shame of Jesus. I don't want to be rejected because of Jesus. And then Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, I will also be ashamed of you when I come back. Do you want Jesus to come back? And then he says, I'm ashamed of you. If Jesus said, I'm ashamed of you, you are in big trouble. Do you want to be in big trouble? No. So I hope that you will say, yes, Lord. As Paul said, as Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Say this together. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we we do what to one of these little ones. Leo tunenda kufanya mambo kwa watu watu wa mungu. And be not ashamed of the gospel. Natusione aibu injiri. Jesus is happy of you. Yesu anafrai ya pamoja nao. And he'll give you all kinds of blessings. Na atakupa baraka zote. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, now today we're going to practice a little bit of praying for each other. Leo tunenda kufanya mazuezi jinsi ya kumombea kila mmoja. Now, yesterday you saw that I prayed for two persons, three persons. Remember what they said when I prayed for them? They said they experienced joy. And they experienced that they, they, they feel light. They feel peaceful. Do you know that God has given us the anointing of the Holy Spirit? And a way to have the anointing of the Holy Spirit is to believe that God is loving us now and love God with all our heart. Because when you love God, 
And you believe that God loves you. Na ukamini kwamba Mungu anakupenda. Then you are connected with God. Unakuwa umeungamanishwa pamoja na Mungu. And God's power will come upon you. Na nguvu ya Mungu itakuja juu yako. Now, let me ask two of you come out. I'm demonstrating how to pray for someone. So anyone can come out. Anyone can come out. Anyone can come out. Yeyote aje aliye na utayari. Any two persons. Watu wawili. Two persons, uh-huh. Watu wawili. Be not ashamed. Sio mimi tunafundisha msionee injili haya. Okay, good. They turn like this for the cameras. Ah, they turn like this. No, no, no. Ah, it's okay. Ah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Turn for me. It's okay. It's, 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 it's more important to me. It's totally okay. This now. Close your eyes. Many match in. And open your heart to God. Na fumbue moyo wenu kwa Mungu. Now let me describe how to worship in God in spirit and in truth. Ngoja tuonyeshe jinsi ya kuweza kumwabudu Bwana katika roho na kweli. It's like if you have you see a you see a good friend that you have not seen for a long time. Sawa ni kwa kumuona mtu rafiki ambaye hujawahi kumuona kwa muda mrefu. If you have a good friend who has left this area. Ukiwa na rafiki yako ambaye umepotezana kwa muda mrefu. And suddenly you see the person. Na ghafla ukamuona yule mtu. Will you be very happy? Utafurahi sana. Your happiness will come up from your heart. Furaha yako itatoka ndani ya moyo. When you think about God, he's so good. Ukifikia kuhusu Mungu ni Mungu mzuri sana. I hope all the time you say I'm very happy. Wote mtakanao sema nina furaha tu. Inside how we really like God. Hiyo ndivyo inavyopaswa tuwe. That's the key to your anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hiyo nguo ya upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. The key to anointing is that you believe you believe God is so good. I really like God. Now there are a lot of children passing by. Would the pastor go and tell them today later they can come? Kuna mtu watoto wanapita kule nje mtakawa hiyo kwamba jioni watakuja. Would the pastor go out and tell them now Today later they can come back. Okay, now we will continue here. Ah, to Now please stand up here. Please stand up. Stand up. Please stand up. Everyone love Jesus. Kila moja ampende Yesu sasa. Everyone like Jesus. Kila moja ampende Yesu. Jesus so good. Yesu ni mzuri sana. Jesus loves us. Yesu anatupenda. We like Jesus. Unampenda Yesu. We want Jesus. Unamtaka Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Yesu, 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 Yesu. Jesus loves us very much. Yesu anatupenda sana. We thank you Jesus. Tunakushukuru Yesu. We love Jesus. Tunakupenda Yesu. We need Jesus. Tunakuhitaji Yesu. We want Jesus. Tunakuhitaji Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Come into our hearts. Ndio ndani ya mioyo zetu. To be our savior. Uwe mwokozi wa maisha yetu. To bless us. Uweze kutubariki. We welcome Jesus. Tunakukaribisha Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves us Yesu very much. Yesu anatupenda sana. Jesus loves us very yes, much. Sana. Jesus is with us now. Yes, nasi sasa. Jesus care about us. Yes, Jesus is in front of us yes, and behind us. Yetu na nyuma yetu. Jesus is laying your hand yes, upon you. Yesu mkono wake mbele yako sasa. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Jesus loves us Asante very much. Yesu. Sana. I need Jesus. Yesu. I want Jesus. Nakutaka Yesu. I want Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, 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 oh Jesus, 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 oh Jesus, Jesus. Yesu, Yesu, oh Yesu, Yesu, Yesu. Thank you, Jesus.
Sante Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. I love you, Jesus. Nakupenda, Yesu. I need you, Jesus. Yesu. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, please keep your eyes closed. Please keep your eyes closed. Now, let me ask you, have you experienced anything in your heart and, and over your body during the prayer? So, have you experienced anything? Charlie, yes. Oh, yes. Please speak loudly. He was very joyous. He felt some joy. Hallelujah. Very happy, huh? Can you describe it? Lord no, Jesus, more happiness. More happiness. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> now try try to say it like me. Hallelujah. Say my hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say my hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Say my hallelujah. This one. Hallelujah. Everyone. Everyone. Oh, say oh, say my hallelujah. 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 Some of you may experience more joy. Oh, how about over your body? Do you experience something? Saying you just feel some joy all over the body. Hallelujah. In a spirit. Okay, how about you? How about you? Allow me, please. Ongea kwa sauti wa ski. Rafiki ongea acha kuongea basi ongea kwa sauti. Mejisi fla wakati wote. During the whole session of prayer, it just feels some peace and comfort in our body. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't God real? Je Mungu ni wa kweli? Yes. Now, let me ask you all first do it yourself. Okay, now you can go back to your seat. Now first, reach out your hand to God. And you cry from your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, Now it's like flowing. You know, that you are very happy with God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Now look at this man. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Now you notice, I, I see that this man is, is smiling. Asante Yesu. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Everyone say. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah.
How many of you experience peace, comfort, or joy? Raise your hand. Turn this around. Now keep your hands up. Raise your hands up. Now keep your hands up. Raise your hands up. Now keep your hands up. Raise your hands up. Now keep your hands up. Raise your hands up. Let me tell you, when you can experience his joy, means the presence of God is upon you. He's upon you now. So you see that when you pray yourself, the joy of the Lord can come to you. If you spend more time loving God every day, every day you say, Lord Jesus, you love me, and I love you, I need you. You, I want you. And then you can experience his presence more and more. Amen. Now at this point, at this point, we, we will pray for you first. Lay hand on you first. And then you pay attention to how you feel when we lay hand on you. Now some people might feel power right away. Something entering right away. That's from God. And then you pay attention to how you feel. And then you open your heart more. And then the more you pray. And then today. And in the next few days when you pray for the people, they will experience the presence of God. Hallelujah. Yeah.